Yes. Good question. Yes, actually. Um, the guy who wrote the language, she's talking about on Defiance, I play an Arathian uh, alien and I have to speak a different language as my first language, so I also have an accent when I speak English. Um, yeah, it actually, it was really hard, but like I would just like clean the house and like put each line on, on repeat and hear the guys say it over and over and over and over until, and then I would repeat it and, um, and yeah, it was a lot easier. And even like the guy who made the language, he was like, you sound like you just like pick it up really easily. And I was like, I think that's because I spoke Mohawk like as a kid and it's just, yeah. But yeah, it was, it was a lot easier. What season, are you in the first season? Of Defiance? Yeah. I'm in both, oh, yeah. second, first and second. Yeah, I'm a I orange probably dreaded it. alien, hello. Wait, I don't know that, that's crazy. Yeah, because I had like, oh, I have all the makeup on. Which, is the white hair? No, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, like a Raytheon, I'm like a gypsy. Okay, I know what Ish, you're talking about. You know. It's got a, the nose thing right here, right? No, I have like orange <laughs> dreadlocks, like and the orange, orange eyes. The orange, okay, all right, all right. that makes sense. <laughs> stay tuned you will have to stay tuned but how badass is that right like when I read the script I was like awesome I'm like now I'm gonna get an eye patch you know like how much cooler like I was like okay maybe a peg leg or like a hook hand would make me even more badass but like we'll start with the eye patch <laughs> Want to see my traditional outfit? Oh, yeah. yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Whoa, I like that. The native like bling, bling turquoise. Yeah. <laughs> that's some good turquoise, yeah. What was your question here? Well, I would have liked to be in Sopranos. That would have been fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, Breaking Bad. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah, that's a good question. Seinfeld. Yeah. X Men would be too. I actually have a good question for you guys. Who are your favorite performers growing up? Could be actors, writers, directors. I actually became an actor because of Jim Carrey. Oh my god. I saw it when I was like Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. Yeah. Yeah. Smashing up that UPS box. Yeah. Or that HGS box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, for real. I was like, I was in grade five or something and I went to see it in, uh, in the theater. And it was the first time where I realized, like, oh, like, this guy makes people laugh and he gets paid to do it. This is a profession. Like, I don't have to become, like, you know, in school and they're like, a policeman, a firefighter, a lawyer, you know, like, you have, like, the general list. I, an actor was never on there, and I never thought about it until, until I saw Ace Ventura. And so I was obsessed with Jim Carrey growing up. Like, obsessed. I had kind of a sick obsession with him, too. Um, <laughs> watch his movies over and The Mask. Over. Uh, my favorite actor right now is Gary Oldman. I think he's, I think he's like, he's like a chameleon. Like you see him, he turns into somebody different. Like uh, True Romance, he plays this Jackson. Like, yeah, he's got dreads and he's kind of, he thinks he's black or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and and then he goes and plays like Dracula from Bram Stoker. So, and so it. it People watch, a lot of people don't really know who he is because he's so good at transforming into somebody else. And that's really what an actor is, in my opinion, is somebody who transforms and is a chameleon. 
Otherwise, you're, you're, you're a personality actor, you know, you're just yourself in certain situations. Mm -hmm. It's like, what would I do in this situation? Rather than, what would this character do in this situation? Because this is a, a completely separate person than from, from me and grew up differently, so he would act differently, presented in certain situations. Mm -hmm. And I think Gary Oldman really does that, you know, Commissioner Gordon, and then all of a sudden he's, you know, psychopath in the professional, you know. So, I think that's really important for, for actors. Um, my favorite director is Stanley Kubrick. I think he was the best director of all time. Did you much. go to the Kubrick exhibit? Huh? In LA, did you go to the Kubrick exhibit? No. <gasps> I, I went twice. Too. I should have, yes. <laughs> but I've seen all his movies, so I... Uh, whatever, you still missed out. You still missed out. Yes, Clockwork Orange is my favorite movie and, and book. Yeah. It's shining. Yeah, but Stephen King wasn't too happy about that. Okay, let's do it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great movie, though. Jack Nicholson was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah go back. You just keep going. Oh my god, what is my favorite? I'm so happy that you watched it. That's great. Um, I hope we get a third season. So everybody should watch it so Netflix can see the numbers and we get a third season and I work again. Um, but I also love the character. She's so much fun to play and all the, all the people part of that project. Um, okay, what was it? Well, I don't have a TV, so all I do is watch like documentaries on YouTube or, or Netflix. And Canada and the States have different Netflix. So I don't really have the same thing. Like I live in Canada, so yeah, it's, I, I've been watching Hannibal and like right now Brooklyn Nine Nine. That's what's that's what's up. <laughs> I like Lily Hammer. I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's uh, it's about it's the guy from Sopranos. He plays I think Tony Soprano's main lieutenant or whatever. He goes to Sweden and he's a. It's, it doesn't have to do with Sopranos, but he plays a character similar to that, a mafia a mafia boss. And he goes under witness protection and goes to, I think, Norway or Sweden. And everything's all backwards for him. And he has to deal with that type of lifestyle. And before you know it, he falls back into his mafia ways and starts recruiting all these Swedish people into his gang. And it's a, it's a comedy. It's funny. It's pretty much what I'm watching on Netflix. I had a question right over here. There wasn't really any shenanigans. I mean, I was there uh, for, yeah, just one episode, but I was there like quite often, like I think eight, eight of the days. Um, they're the nicest people ever. Oh my God, those two guys, like, okay, I live under a rock, so I was like, I was like, yeah, I got on this show, like Supernatural or whatever. My sister was like, oh my God! She was like freaking out. I was like, really, is it good? Like, is it big? She's like, it's, my agent was like, it's insanely huge. And then not until the episode came out did I realize, like, really, like, how big that show is. Pardon? Yeah. Like, I'm like, where, like, they're, they just got picked up for, like, a season 10 and 11 or something. That's insane. Like, what show lasts that long? Anyways, they're great, and they're super nice, and there wasn't really any, yeah, there, like, there was, like, little things, but I don't think, there wasn't, like, anything crazy memorable shenanigans. But yeah, thanks for watching that. <laughs> that was a fun character. And I didn't die, so, you know, I'm waiting, they still have two more seasons. I forgot Game of Thrones is the one I'm watching too. I love that. That one's really cool. That, that dragon princess lady is awesome. What's her name again? I forget. Daenerys. Yeah, okay. <laughs>